Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, um, welcome back if you're joining me again. I just got home from the most exciting and fun day. You'll see some pictures popping up on the screen. I had an amazing time with my friend Mandy. We went to Birmingham to the big craft show and I got some goodies. So I want to share with you what I got. If you're in the UK, it is well worth going to these. They are so good, you get so much stuff. For so cheap, um, you can find some cracking bargains. I mean, there's lots of stuff that's expensive, but you can get some really good bargains. Um, so I'm going to start with... Um, I'll just show you what I've got, and I'll just kind of go through with whatever's in my pile. So first I went to Lime Tree Crafts. And um, I rang them a couple days ago and said, Can you cut cardstock to size? And they said yes. And now I've got a whole office full of their cardstock still because I absolutely love them. They are my favorite. There's a picture of them here on the screen um, at their stall. So there's John there and I can't remember the lady's name. I'll post it on the screen. Um, but I went and got all this cardstock chopped up. This I said I needed a thousand sheets. And um, this is the thinnest cardstock they do. It's 200 GSM. This is a couple sheets here. So it's on the verge of paper because it's quite thin. But I wanted to do A6 journals. So these are quite small. And I haven't been doing them because I'm so unmotivated because I've got to cut my paper up from an A4 size to A6 and it always goes wonky and it goes horribly wrong. And so I asked them, do you do your paper um, any size? And they said yes. So they cut all this for me and brought it to the craft show and I got to pick it up. Um, and so I'm really pleased. This will probably, I probably put about sort of probably roughly about that much in each journal, maybe a bit more. So this should do me at least 10 small journals at least. Um, so I'm really happy about that. But that was an arrangement I had with them. Lime Tree Crafts in the UK. Absolutely fantastic. Then I went to one stall who had these. Um, this is £3 or £3.99, I can't remember. I got myself a new brush and a new foam bit, and that was on offer. Um, from the same stall, I got some of this Nouveau glue, which cost me three quid. It's just glue, it's not the Nouveau drops. Then they had these whopping sticky rolls. They had this size and they had double, so you could do a full A4 sheet, or this should do, I think, A5 or A6, yeah, so you could look, that's the same size thickness. And the idea, you get quite a lot on this roll. The idea is that you put this along your paper and then you run your die cuts through and then you've got a sticky back on it. So that's what this is for. This was $5.99 or two for £10. So, and, and it included the big one. So I could have got the giant one and this one for £10. And I'm starting to think maybe I should have. <laughs> but I got this and I was wanting that um, since the last time I went to the fair. Then I decided to treat myself to the Tim Holtz scissors. I've wanted these for a long time. I don't know if that's actually reduced, but it looked cheap to me. I can't remember what they are on Amazon and elsewhere, but I thought for $12.99 for a pair of these scissors that apparently never ever get sticky, I thought was worth it. So I picked up a pair of these as my special treat to myself today. I mean, everything's my treat, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, so that's what I got from that shop. And then I got from Every Crafts a Pound, Every Crafts a Pound was there as well. I got four of these, um, they were a pound each, they're just tape runners, so I got some of those. Then I also got a glue, um, Tonic Studios glue with fine tip to try out and see how that is. And I got this heat resistant board. So it's, I don't know what it's made of, it sounds like a tile. It looks kind of like plastic stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's this massive board. Um, and I just thought when I'm crafting in the house, if I'm sat at the toy box, which is like our little living room table, then I can put this down and I can use my heat gun, my glue gun, and I don't have to worry about damaging anything. So it was one pound, so I thought, why not? <laughs> then I went to, there's loads of um, sewing, stitching, needlework, loads and loads and loads of fabric. Um, so I just went to one of these and it had all these one pound bins, so I got some of this um, cute thread stuff to use on cards. It's really sweet. It um, looks like that. So I just thought that'd be quite cute and something different to put on like the top of a tag. And I got it in this colour as well. And then this was quite like fat looking yarn, which I thought might be cool. 
and this kind of almost eyelash trim stuff it's really weird and hairy but I thought that was quite cool so these are all a pound each then these I've seen these before several times these are card packs so they come with I think 10 cards maybe 15 cards in each pack and all the envelopes maybe even 20 might actually be 20 they're really thin really flimsy but so awesome for the kids so this is pearlescent cardstock which I thought was quite cool and I got what did I get I think I got 14 packs <laughs> because I can take them to school I think there must be 20 must be 20 in each but I can take them to school this is also a metallic foil kind of card but they're different shapes um, they're all roughly the same size. They come with the envelopes, but I can take them to school. The kids can use them at school. Um, we can take them to church. Kids can make cards while they're sat listening to the sermon or being bored. <laughs> they can have something to do. Um, and my kids can make cards to their heart's delight. So I got um, 14 packs, spent £7 because they're 50p a pack. So why not? 50p for 20 cards and envelopes. So that was good. And then I went to one of my favorite stalls and I got a whole bunch of these. Ooh, there's my face. <laughs> um, this is a mega pack of cardstock. You get an insane amount in there. But this is the place that I went to and I got that skin toned cardstock that I showed you before. So I think it's, is it in this one? Might be in this one. Which one is it in? I spotted it in a couple of them, so I had to have it. So here we go. Here's one. You get this monster pack, and they're five pounds a pack of cardstock. And I don't know how much is in here. It's a heck of a lot of cardstock. But look, there is my skin tone cardstock. And this is where I got it from for doing my paper dolls. So I've got now a few more sheets. Um, and this is the stuff that I use on all the paper dolls, and it works a treat. So I got seven packs of cardstock and they are all just as big as this they are all enormous and there's absolutely tons in there um but i got this because i'm going to give some to someone else and i also wanted to go through and pick out the ones that i know i would use um like we got really thick like this stuff is really thick green cardstock then we've got some brown textured cardstock um this is like, look, that, that's cool. It's like a tree, like tree wood grain cream cardstock. That's really cool. Um, and then that Christmas, Christmas paper, some more Christmas paper. I mean, these would be great if I managed to do like a Christmas card making event for church this year. All this will come really, really in handy. Some gold card. This is gold. Oh, come on camera. This is gold um, pearlescent cardstock you can see that some more of that Christmas paper they're just random completely random packs look pink this is pink pinky red um, foil um, but you just get this massive selection and so it's quite fun to go through and see what you've got in there so I got seven packs of these and I asked him if I could have a discount if I bought a few so he said if you buy six I'll give you a seventh one for free so I spent 30 pounds and got seven packs of really good quality cardstock um, so that's what I got today, and it was great fun. The next one, hang on a minute, I'll find the thing. There we go. The next one is on my birthday weekend. So Mandy and I are going to go overnight to Birmingham. I'm going to go out for drinks with her or something. We're going to have a fun time. Um, and it's on my birthday weekend, which is the 31st of October to the 3rd of November. Um, and so, yeah, that's the next one. And it's going to be in Birmingham at the NEC again. So make sure to put that in your diaries if you're in the UK. It is well worth going to. You can get some cracking bargains, whether you're a sewer, a uh, cross-stitcher, knitter, uh, paper crafter, you will find something for yourself here at this one. And then at the same time, who doesn't want cake? So there's all this cake decorating stuff. Mandy and I checked this out when we went last year at this time of the year, and um, we're not really into baking all that much. So it wasn't really for us, but it was the same thing, just as big as like the paper craft and fabric um, side they have for baking and cakes. So there was just tons and tons and tons of stuff over in this area. So that's all on at the same time as well. And I think you can get a ticket 
and it covers both shows I'm not sure um, but check it out it was great fun and yeah thanks for joining me bye <laughs>